Hello everybody, Jack here, and today we're going to be talking about Infinite Warfare Zombies because we've got that trailer now, and damn, does it look funky. So first of all, yes, the speculation was in fact right. It is set in the 80s, which I am so happy about because I think that's so cool. I've been watching, you know, the there's been loads of stuff set in the 80s recently, like Stranger Things was set in the 80s, that film, was it called The Nice Guys, set in the 80s. I mean, something else was set in the 80s, I can't remember what that I've been watching recently, but um... It's just like, I think it's such a cool time period, especially to exploring games, because we've kind of had a lot of movies and stuff, but there's very few games that are set there, so I'm very happy about that. Another thing that everyone's probably pleased about is that it's actually in the style of the sort of Treyarch zombies. If you look at it, I'll, I'll have the trailer running in the background, it's very clearly inspired by that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be going up in rounds. I don't think that they're going to carry on with some storyline. I mean, of course, there'll be the storyline elements, like with Easter eggs and things like that. But I think it's from what we've seen, it looks like it's going to be round-based uh, and going around all around the map. Because the whole point, like we see all throughout the trailer, it's clearly them just defending. It's not like progressing through a story or anything. Although, obviously, there's a hint of story with David Hasselhoff at the end. But I'm very pleased about that. However, I'm also pleased that it's not, like, extremely copying Treyarch, if you know what I mean. Like, there was rumors that there's going to be a Kino map, and there still could be. But I, I was going to make a video about this, but I d there wasn't really enough to say about it, so I just left it until, like, another time, which is now. It seemed like if they had a Kino map, that seemed... I, I wouldn't have been too happy about that, because... They still might, to be honest, but... Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have been too happy about that, because that's not their thing. And they did say that they were going to try and do their whole new... Th like, they put out a quote saying that their new Zombies mode is going to be completely separate from Treyarch Zombies. And then if you kind of have a Kino map, even though it might not be set in like Kino, it might just be the layout of the map or whatever and it'll just be a Kino remake. That doesn't really make it their own, so I'm kind of pleased that they've decided to go with a style which is clearly very different. Like, Although aspects of it may seem similar, like the way the zombies move seems similar, apart from the dancing obviously. One thing is the eyes that are reminiscent of that of Treyarch zombies. It also kind of just shows people that don't really know a lot about it that it's the kind of same thing. It also makes it kind of familiar to these people so that they know what the style of the mode is actually going to be like. As well as this, it's also got the characters. So we've got the four characters who are sort of like the four archetypes that you'd kind of see in 80s films and stuff. So you've got Andre, uh, Sally, Point Dexter, and AJ. So I'm pleased that they're going with characters again because it's not like in the old days of zombies where it's just soldiers. It's kind of, I like having the characters because, you know, it adds like more of a depth to the storyline, which is kind of obviously what they're going for. So it's, it's kind of an obvious choice, but I'm pleased they're there. Something I'm hoping for is that in uh, the future DLCs, it's not all set in the 80s. Like, I don't mind if the setting is, like, the 80s, supposedly. But it seems that they're clearly going with a film setting. Like, you see at the end, I think it's David Hasselhoff in a, in a room, and he's playing the DJ. I don't know whether he's in control of what's going on or what, or whether he is literally just a DJ. But what I'm hoping for is that the the whole thing with the Willard why they're making films and stuff, I'm assuming that what they're doing is being filmed and that, that's the movie, but it's like actually real, so it's kind of similar to Call of the Dead in that aspect. What I'm hoping out of DLC though is that they kind of do different themes for each movie, so that, but I still want them to be kind of crazy. So you've got like the obviously like 80s zombies in Spaceland theme. I'm hoping that there'll also like be other crazy themes, so maybe like some Wild West theme or something like that. That's kind of similar to Buried, but you kind of get the idea. I kind of want it to be kind of that kind of crazy 80s thing. Like it, for example, if Shadows of Evil wasn't out, then that would have been a pretty good one because that's kind of like... It's sort of like a crime sort of thing, but that, that kind of idea of different film settings. Overall though, I'm very happy with how the actual mode looks. I'm pleased that it's kind of, it, it's like I said, it's very similar to Treyarch in a lot of aspects actually. Like there's clear replacements for things, like you see a speaker that seems to spin guns or whatever, which is obviously similar to the mystery box, but of course you're gonna have something like that. There's a lot of aspects that seem similar to Treyarch Zombies, but I'm very happy that it doesn't seem to take itself too seriously, because obviously with Black Ops 3 Zombies, and obviously previously, it's all very serious, like, war, dimensions, things like that, whereas this seems a lot more exciting in terms of colours, and just like, the general theme it's going for, and just like, the feeling it's going for, so I'm very looking forward to that. Of course, if they do make a Kino remake, I'll probably be like, even though I'm complaining about if they do that now, I'd probably still be excited for that, but I'd kind of prefer they save that for a Treyarch game. Maybe DLC 4, who knows, maybe maybe we'll have that before this comes out. That'd be pretty exciting. So yeah, there we go. I wonder if this will be the only map on the disc. It might not be, it might be. It looks good. It wouldn't... It, to be honest, there might be one other small one, like for example the Giant or Nuketown Zombies. That seems to be the thing. You seem to have one big one and then you get another one for pre-ordering. So, you know, Kino might actually work in that aspect, but... I hope it's not, but if it is, oh well. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like. Uh, leave a comment telling me what you thought about this Zombies in Spaceland trailer. It'll be in the background as well, so you kind of get to see it. Hopefully it'll be in the background. 
If it's not, then I probably had to remove it due to copyright, and this video is probably going up later than I thought, because whenever I try and upload a Zombies trailer, I get done for copyright. So leave a comment telling me what you think about Zombies in Spaceland down below, and I'll be sure to have a conversation with you, because I think it looks pretty cool. I'll be interested to know what you guys think, so see you in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video too. Thank you, and goodbye.